So, I'm about to do a little get ready with me. This was so random, but today I'm just about to do some content and what am I about to do today? I'm about to do some content and go out and hand out business cards, promote all that stuff and go visit my cousin. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna install a wig. It's giving Bobby on it today. Cause I've been wearing long hair for about a, oh, a long time. So let's see. This is not transparent lace, and I'm used to transparent lace now. So I don't know. My wig cap not gonna be this low, but I'm just saying if I wanna do the Bob Yana. Yeah, I'm gonna do the Bob. So I'm gonna put, ooh, don't lift up. I literally can never freaking get my lace to stay on the sides. Like, what's going on? Okay. I can see I took my lip thing out. Um, it started to smell weird. Um. Like I had never gotten like scar tissue or anything until like two weeks ago, three, two or three weeks ago. And then it started to smell weird. I was like, what in the world? This is my top lip. I can't have that in there and be smelling my top lip. That's just nasty. Where somebody else smelled my top lip. Like that's nasty. <laughs> so I had to take it out. I was like, nah. But I'm gonna get it re pierced because it closed up already. It's only been like a week or yeah, it's only been like a week since I took it out. So, I might get it repaired real soon. Because I really did like it. Like, I feel basic without it. So, um, yeah, but I'm in Atlanta, y'all. I wish I could get a better angle for y'all. I live in Atlanta now. Um, it was really, honestly, really impulsive. Um, I just wanted more for my business and I just wanted to expand and grow. Um, I've been here for a month. I got here last month and I don't see any growth. I don't see any, I'm gonna just be honest. Everything I expected is not happening yet. But it's only been a month, so I can't be like, oh, I wanna go back home. Cause I can't even do that. Cause I get my own place, so I gotta have a lease. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> but business is slow and I'm not used to that because I'd be booked and busy in Maryland. So it's like, yeah. Um, But yeah, it's, it's hard, like, getting new clientele. Why y'all didn't tell me it was this hard? Like, y'all should have warned me when y'all when when y'all knew that I was coming. I don't care if y'all didn't know. Like, you should have known. But it's really hard getting a um, new clientele in a new area. I thought it was going to be easy. You know, we're in the age of social media. So I assumed that all I had to do was make a couple posts. <laughs> I assumed all I had to do was make a couple posts and your girl was gonna be booked and busy. And that's not how it is. But I always look at everything as, this is just not how it's supposed to be right now. Like I'm just not supposed to be booked and busy right now. God wants me to see something else, maybe. 
because honestly, I'm a full-time braider. That's how I make my coins. That's how I pay my rent. But I don't love it. Like, I, I love it, but that's not what I want to do. I'm a fashion designer. I want to do my clothing brand and all that stuff. So it's like, maybe something greater is supposed to happen. And I just got to be patient. I just got to thug it out. But I'm really uncomfortable. Um, I don't like to thug it out. I don't want to. But I'm going to have to because I don't have no choice. I'm going to have to do what I got to do. And continue to stay optimistic because that's just the type of person I am. And figure out, figure it out. Like I always do. Ain't nothing new. So. I think I got a, like a, a good routine down for my makeup. You want to make how much money you want. You want to work when you feel like it. The worst part is there's no guaranteed money. And I still would not work with somebody else. I don't care how damn bad I am. But it gets tough. But I'm willing to go through that in order to live how I want to live. So, yeah. But I blended it so much that it looks like nothing's there. So I'm gonna put some more. But yeah. So today I'm just gonna keep moving towards my goals um, of making, literally my goal isn't to be booked and busy. My goal is just to be booked and make money so I can focus on designing and getting my, my clothing brand uh, together, you know? I don't care about I don't care about, I'm gonna be real, I don't care about uh, braiding. The moment I don't have to braid anymore, I won't. And I'm just being real with y'all. I'm just keeping it a honey, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Braiding is not, nobody wants to stand up for hours every day. And, you know, you get good money, but your back hurt, <laughs> your back hurt, your body hurt, feet hurt, fingers hurt, you in pain, <laughs> most of the time, unless you're just blessed. But I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather design my clothes and just be cute, have free clothes all the time for myself. Well, not free, but you know, just always look good. And my clothes that I made myself be my own billboard. And yeah. Had that coin come in. Without even doing anything. My work is done. No service. Um, yeah. It's a little frustrating when you don't see instant results because my situation has changed a lot. But this comes with my decision to move to a new state. Because I see better I see better out here for me. You know I can't see it yet. seeing people put this like concealer on their lips what's that about why 
my nose about to be wide. But yeah, honestly, I came here to expand, to grow, to meet new people, uh, to be in a spotlight. I want to be in a spotlight. I want to be on a show or, you know, something, being myself, getting paid to be myself. And that's just the vibe. That's the goal. Is to just make money every day being myself, doing what I love. But I don't know what it's going to take, honestly. I'm just a little lost right now. But I'm documenting these moments because it's great. It's going to turn out perfect. Like, everything's going to work out because I am meant to be something big. It is in my it's in my DNA, you know what I'm playing. So I wish I could do makeup. Like what's going on? I thought this was gonna be I try to learn some techniques and stuff. It's not working. What's going on? I need my neck back. Make me beautiful. One thing that I don't like is I try to reach out to people and I know nobody has to respond to me, but I be trying to reach out to people and, you know, either get advice or, you know, offer them a service heavily discounted. And people don't be fucking with me. <laughs> people do not be trying to hear that or they just don't see it. I don't really know how to properly, um, approach people of higher status um but that's something i have to learn you know being in the environment but i feel good about it here even though you know i don't see anything happening yet i feel good about it i'm still optimistic i'm not going home I'm supposed to be here. My Hebrew told me it. I'm supposed to be here doing great things. So I just gotta figure out what exactly that great thing is. <laughs> I wish it was like a book where I could just read it and then do it. Like what's on? I need some guidance. I need some answers. This lace, I don't like it. I, I, it's like once you get the once you get the HD lace, it's like no, I don't want nothing else. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's like it's not HD lace. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been watching a lot of decent now. Y'all know her show. Uh, when she trying to find love. I've been watching that, and y'all, why did that show have me crying? Why did it have me crying? I don't know if, if y'all if you ever seen the show. It's not a crying show. Like you don't cry. It's too much nonsense. But the last episode, where she chose um. Invisalign, I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know why I was so like, why was I crying? Because apparently they didn't even last. I don't, mm, it's, my bob is cricket. I put my bob on cricket. Put some color on my lid. 
same color I always use. Y'all, one day, I'm gonna really learn how to do my makeup. Like, my makeup is going to be, like one day, I'm gonna be really doing this makeup stuff on myself. And y'all gonna see how far I came. Cause right now, it doesn't give at all. So my breath. Why is my thing coming out right? Hair glue must dry really fast because these other glues do not be drying fast enough. Like what in the world? Got really let that drink sit. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have to film this part without my ring light because I need to charge my phone and my flat iron is fucked up. But as you can see, I changed my wig. Oh dang, I was supposed to cut a little bit. So I'm trimming it a little bit. But as you can see, I changed my wig because the bob wasn't, I need to throw the wig away and I haven't even had it that long. And that's my problem. Because as soon as the wig started looking crusty dusty, instead of me fixing it, I'd be like, trash. I'm loving how, um, how much better it looks just with that little, little trim. I look so exotic with my little middle paw. I be looking like somebody important. Um, I haven't done my edges or nothing yet. But if y'all would have seen this wig, this is the HD lace one. I didn't even need to do baby hairs until last week because last week is when it started like thinning out a little bit. I noticed that it was thinning out, so now I need to you know needed to add some edges but before that i didn't even need it it was laid it was it was bomb and this is from icy hair this is where i get all my hair from they should sponsor me like seriously i think i reached out before i'm gonna do it again but yeah, I was just warming up my hot comb. The one thing I learned is that the key to getting your hair flat with a hot comb is holding it instead of just brushing it through. You gotta kind of hold it on. there for a couple of seconds and then pull it through. See how flat that is, this side? Oh, 
Always close it. Am I the only person who lays just be lifted for no reason? Like, I laid you down with all my heart. And you wanna lift for me? Like, how dare you? I'm thinking to myself, where my sugar daddy's at? So I think I'm, a, I'm in the mood to flip my ends out today. I want to flip it out, so we'll see how that looks. Now, last but not least, well, two things I need to do is my lashes and I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer to my part. Dang, I said a little bit. Damn. Pain. I'm always messing something up and I don't have no mascara. Okay, this is working. Dang, I'm always doing something. I'll clean up my bathroom when I get back. Now I gotta figure out what outfit I wanna wear for this promo video. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just put this on, just for the promo. This is from my website, baylinlux.com. Make sure you go shop. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop trying to look at me. All right, so I got my outfit on. Don't wanna go out like this. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's too cold. 
I'm gonna definitely take some pictures today. I don't even take pictures. I'm gonna take some today. I don't even take pictures on my own. Yep. But yeah, I look so cute. <laughs> Y'all feel so much better than I did this morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. I didn't really do much, but talk about, I didn't even put my lip gloss on. But I didn't really do much. I didn't get into too much detail, but I will be making a detailed sit down video about my move, um, how it went, and just my honest thoughts in Atlanta so far, so. Bye y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Tell your friends about my channel and I'll see you in the next video.